What's up, everybody? Come. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Coming at you from Medellin, Colombia. I'm here with uh, Sunny from Strength by Sunny. What's going on, everybody? Just want to give you guys a quick update um, about our live programs that we're going to be running. Uh, but first off, we wanted to. You guys heard from me how I just did nine and four days. We were just actually adding up uh, the total. What we got here a week ago, Monday. Disgusting. What's today? Tuesday. Oh yeah, we've been here eight days. We've yeah, we eight we've, days. we've closed uh, <laughs> 26 chicks yeah. between the two of us. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, we didn't even plan to talk about this, but just to touch on it, like we kind of like let a whole bunch of other shit go, <laughs> yeah. like in terms of like balance. So like yeah. one, one lesson is if you go like fucking all out crazy with game, like other shit falls apart. Like we we took a week off the gym. A week off the kickboxing. Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing. You know, I don't think there's a problem with that. Every once in a while, it's okay to unleash the animal and go back and revert back to your wild ways. I usually, you know, that was pretty much college for me um, and parts of high school. Um, but I don't see that being a problem when you're, you know, you're, you're like in your 20s or even your 30s. Um, it becomes a problem when it becomes, you know, you're doing it for years and years around. But, you know, even to this day, you know, there'll be times once, twice, maybe three times a year, you know, I'll go back to a dark place, you know, kind of like where I'm at, <laughs> where I'm at right now. Yeah, just just basically like uh, eating shitty food here and there, just because we're trying to get in meals, be, like yeah. in between chicks or like, I'm like behind on my marketing stuff with, with putting up ads for my non-pickup business. Yeah, um, well, I, you know, even still me, the, the Medellin diet, you know, I wake up, uh, <laughs> I walk to the chocolate store and get like nine pieces of chocolate, um, or I either, it, I either don't eat anything or get nine pieces of chocolate, and then usually wings and maybe sushi for dinner. Um, I still, I mean, me personally, because, you know, I've been, I've been in the fitness stuff for like 12 years, you know, I still haven't lost that much, but... You know, I'm gonna cut it down soon. Yeah, we were yeah we were like behind on water. No, I, I mean that's crazy too. Like out of that, so out of those uh, 26 closes in eight days, I had I don't know how many. We didn't count how many we like had close close calls. Like we got like blowjob, handjob, or whatever, and it didn't close. Do you know how many of those you had? I don't know how many of those I had, but you know. I just had two of those last night. Like I went, I had like two really hot chicks over last night separately. The uh, the crazy thing. They both had rules. They couldn't fuck on the first date. The crazy thing is that you and I both, um, we've turned down yeah. multiple opt like we. Yeah, we've been fl we've been flaking on a lot of these yeah. chicks. As I said in my last video, like we we got a lot of like we hit, jumped on Tinder Plus before we got here. Yeah. We front loaded some leads like that, and then just meeting girls during the daytime, meeting girls at night. Yeah, front load leads, <clears throat> uh, meeting chicks, you know, not about everywhere. There's like too many leads to handle, like yeah. even with um, seeing them all the time and doing nothing else. <laughs> so, yeah. and I've been repeating like I've got a. I've got like a mini rotation going already that I've been repeating a bunch and I've been like turning down new dates to see rotation girls and like these two that I saw last night I was like trading up I already had like two that were like more down and I traded up for like really hot ones mm -hmm. and they both had rules about um, not hooking up on the first date and then I actually saw one of those ones today and the same fucking shit she's like we got a little further but she's like next time blah 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 so um all right so yeah like watch my last video and watch that on how to work leads properly and get the whole machine moving to get tons of results um but yeah, yeah so that 26 just to reiterate that 26 and eight days like that's that's what us canceling on a whole bunch of chicks like seeing repeats fucking I like slept through a bunch of dates because yeah. we're just like on like crazy sleep schedules. Yeah. Um, so I just. But it'll all end soon. I'm getting out of here in a couple of days, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm getting out of here in a couple of days. I'm gonna spend some high quality time, some quality time with uh, my family. I'm looking forward to going fishing with my father, seeing my dog, and really just <laughs> feeling like a 12, eating pizza, feeling like a 12 year old kid for at least a couple of days, and then getting back. Uh, uh, putting out the content, and stuff. but that that kind of shows you guys like what's what's possible when you're going like fucking balls to the wall with this shit. Like, uh, yeah. and yeah, like a lot of people in the last video, they're like, oh well, it's because you're white in Medellin. But we do this whenever whenever we fucking go out and win together. Even back in what was that 2013, 
on our RST Nation. We did like 11 in three days yeah. collectively um, yeah. in Vegas. So everyone, everyone always wants to make an excuse, but when you have a high level game and you have a good wing, then... Yeah, it's just it's like, it's one of those things, um, people, they like to blame city, circumstances, things like that. Um, Ethnicity, height, um, logistics. You know, it, it really it comes down to you. You know, if, if that truly is who you are, it doesn't matter where you go. You're going to be able to sniff out some high quality snail trailing, <laughs> you know, and do some work. Yeah, it's funny, like, you know, we both have been, like, closing so frequently. Like, I remember, what was it, on Saturday, where I brought back that chick, and then, like, I came out from the room, and you had brought back a different chick, and then, yeah. like, today, both of us, like, finished fucking two new girls, like, separately, and they both, we were, they're, oh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're both, like, <laughs> ran into each other, like, they're both, like, fighting over who's gonna use the shower, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so, in terms of the, the boot camp update, we added a couple more dates. Mm -hmm. Um... We are going to do a second New York City program, and I'll list on the screen and, and in the yeah. description. Well, in order first, that it's we replaced the the Raleigh, North Carolina one, which was originally May 10th through 12th. That is now Montreal, Canada. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be in Toronto the week before, mm -hmm. um, so we're going to hit Montreal. I gave a, a long talk there last year. We had some people interested in Montreal, so there's still a couple spots there. That's uh, yeah, May 10th through 12th. Mm -hmm. um, and San we, Fran is, yeah, we that had, is Memorial Day week and that's... Yeah, we headed to San Francisco um, just because our West Coast one was San Diego filled up mm -hmm. and we, there was like more demand on the West Coast. We added a second West Coast spot with San Francisco and then after that we're going to do one more New York City program and then we're going to Europe for the rest of the year. So um, a bunch of people have been emailing and um, asking about what, what those programs entail. We put out a video uh, a while back that kind of gave some details, but I'll just cover that again one more time. So basically, it's going to be three nights out um, from about, we'll meet around like 9 p.m. till like 2 in the morning, or for like New York, or you know, cities where it's open longer, it'll be probably till about 4. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing a daytime session uh, from 1 to 4 p.m. on the Saturday. And you're going to have both of us instructing. Um, my forte is all the night game stuff. Uh, do you want to talk about what you're going to cover? Yeah, just based on actually one thing I'd like to add, um, since I've been here in Medellin, I've actually, um, and you guys know I, I'm not really big on day game, I actually got into it. Uh, I just started naturally doing it uh, because, again, I'll usually wake up and... Sleeping all day. Yeah, he'll be sleeping and I'll wake up and, and walk to the chocolate store. Um, and on the way there, like, you know, I'll run into some chicks and I've gotten some solid leads there. The chick, I, I sent him a picture of it. I, just absolutely beautiful girl. I met her one morning on the way. The one that you said your dream girl. <laughs> yeah, it fucking it fucking sucks on leaving. She's like fucking. She's perfect in every way. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've gotten back into the day game thing. Like, kind of. It's weird because I don't even really speak Spanish that well. But I'll just like kind of just barge in and just go up to these chicks with the Google Translator and just tell them like, hey, what's up? I think you're really attractive. Well, you went um, through that, that course too and that helped a lot. Yeah, yeah that, that did help a lot, but I'm still... You didn't get through the whole thing, but yeah, that helped a bunch. Um, but yeah, like on these programs, so I'm looking forward to... Um, my day game has certainly improved, um, or I've gotten back into it, I should say, so I'm looking forward to doing that. But really, John's obviously... Uh, just a pure strategist when it comes to the dating stuff. Even, you know, I've pretty much been living with him for two weeks now. Um, and even back um, back in the US, I've been spending every day with him. Like he really, like, there is no one that comes close to him when it comes to his expertise, when it comes to the psychology, just the psychology, just everything related to these chicks. You know, there really is no one that compares to him. Um, but as far as, so you're definitely covered um, as far as that's concerned. But as far as what I bring to the table, Yes, I also, I have a unique perspective on the dating stuff, but um, my personal interest is the personal branding, uh, maximizing sexual market value. Uh, obviously, you know, I wrote the book, the book on modern day masculinity, so it's a lot of you guys that want to become more masculine men and develop that more of a uh, man to woman vibe and sexualize your interactions and improve your dating life that way, I also bring that to the table. So just overall, making you the best man possible, making you, making your personal brand as valuable as possible so that 
uh, more times than not, we are improving your odds of being a, a high value guy. In other words, a yes to these girls rather than a maybe or even a no. Um, that's the perspective that I'm bringing to the table. And you know, that teaming up obviously with Jingle's years of experience and just expertise when it comes to the dating stuff, it really is a program unlike any other out there, the amount of insane value you guys are gonna get from it. Yeah, and yeah, so just to recap what he said, so he's gonna be optimizing your value as a man, mm -hmm. optimizing your sexual market value, so to speak, yeah. and I'm gonna be really drilling home the strategies and tactics to you know, maximize your game skill, optimize your game skill. Probably the most <clears throat> common question we've got from guys is, oh, well, how can I master this in three days? Because it's a three-day program. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, like, we don't even do this for a living anymore. Yeah. We, we used two years back. Um, but our business model, so to speak, when teaching these programs isn't to have repeat customers ever. So a lot of these coaches out there are like, they want you to take like five, 10, yeah. 15 boot camps. We know people that actually have done that yeah. with other companies. Um, whereas we want to solve the problem right away on the first, the first boot camp. Yeah. And like guys are usually able to pull on the first night because we teach you down and dirty, like here's everything you need to do to pull, mm -hmm. right? And then they can pull that first night and they can pull the rest of their life, right? It's not a guarantee. We give them the highest probability with any girl yeah. that they happen to meet in public. Um, and like we're against the whole idea that you need to do like a thousand approaches or a thousand nights out. It's more of you need to learn the correct way to do this and then in a, in a way that's very practical and straightforward and easy to assimilate. And then you go and do it and that's it. So like we really make it as simple and straightforward as possible, cut through all the BS. Um, we'll be winging with you one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. We've seen, we've both been coaching for over five years. We've seen most everything at this point. Yeah. So we'll blast away all the problem areas really fast. And uh, yeah, we just, we're excited to go through this tour. Um, I'll post the dates again, but the New York City program's full, the DC program's full, mm -hmm. and the San Diego program was full, but there was one guy that might switch to the San Francisco program because it's more convenient. Yeah. So, if you are interested in any of those locations or dates, um, email me at epdatingcoach at gmail.com mm -hmm. and we can discuss. Yeah. Uh, you can also email yeah. me at sunny.arvato at gmail.com as well too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put those emails down here and then uh, we can discuss the price. I think there's about, <clears throat> what, like 25 guys signed up so far. Yeah, that seems about right. We've got a whole range of everything from 18 year olds up to I think 55 year old dudes. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's gonna be fun, yeah. but yeah, hit us up. Uh, we're gonna go check out the the Hooters in Columbia. Yeah. Was there anything else? <laughs> no, um, we're, both, we're both like running on fumes. Yeah, it's just too. like oh god, like <laughs> I, I you, you love it, but at the same time, you just yeah. yeah, you gotta you gotta you know get back to to being civilized. Um, but uh, um, no, other than that, just yeah, looking forward to work with the guys. We already have signed up. I'm looking forward to hearing from a lot of you guys that are interested in signing up with us. Um, it really is. It really is something special because, you know, like I said, I, you know, I know what I bring to the table. You guys know what JMO brings to the table. There really isn't a team or dynamic duo like this. Um, make no mistake, um, you will learn a lot from working with us. Just, it's a very multi-dimensional program because of just our collective experience. Um, the different ways that we look at the world, our different experiences and, and what we bring to the table. Um, there's a lot to learn, but the overall goal, it's very simple. Results, yeah, yeah. results. We are 100% results oriented, nothing else, results. Whatever results that you want, boom, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go get them. Yeah, and every, every coach says that, but all too often you see at the end of these programs from these other companies is that everyone's yeah. at a diner discussing game theory at like, Four or five a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, you guys are awesome. I'd love to hang out with you guys. I don't want to eat at a fucking diner with you guys at, at five. Like I had, a, I always use this as an example. <laughs> I I taught a a program in New York City yeah. was a, a couple of years ago, and we had eleven poles on the program, and it, you know, we everyone was like MIA mostly because they were off fucking, you know. So yeah, exactly. That's and like and they don't know exactly when you teach a program. It fucking sucks because you can't fucking, you can't leave. Like, obviously there's chicks that, you know, we want to holler at too. And yeah. you know, it's just it, pretty much when you're teaching, it's a quick number close maybe. And then it, because the focus is on the student. Yeah, we want you guys off getting students so that, you know, we can Getting go on. chicks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
So, all right, yeah, um, ask questions in the comments or shoot me an email. Um, we'd be happy to jump on a quick call with you to explain mm -hmm. any more details or discuss uh, whatever you'd like to discuss. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. So I will put the schedule again here. Um, I might be off to Brazil next to teach a program out there with an old student. Um, <laughs> but we will see. All right, thank you guys. Talk to you. See you guys soon. Bye.